Hello everyone, this is Double bringing you guys the first part to my top 5 Ruby characters. Now I know you may be wondering, why the hell are there going to be 2 parts in a top 5? Well, newsflash, I'm not going to be controlling the second one. That will be done by a mystery guest. Now the first thing I gotta say is, Ruby doesn't have a fighting game, nor has she ever appeared in any fighting games alongside with any of her friends, so I'm just going to be spitballing a lot of ideas on how the characters could be playing in this upcoming game. So without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off at number 5, we're going to go with Ocean Man Neptune. Now Neptune isn't really one of the main driving characters of Ruby, but he sure is one of the funniest ones. He has a rifle that looks like it could be pretty cool, and a staff. To be honest with you, I can't imagine anything except annoying Zoner with this guy, but he just seems right in a fighting crossover game for some reason, and it goes without saying that with Neptune, a certain other character might appear. It rhymes with Bun and Wukong, but we might have to save that character for another list. Scandalous. Starting at number 2, we're gonna have Winter. Winter Schnee. She's wife's sister and a pretty big deal, but she's only had one fight, and that's against Crow. And if you don't know who that is, he's pretty much the top badass of Ruby and one of the strongest characters. Now, Winter is a summoner just like her sister, except she's just way better at it. So assuming Weiss, which is pretty obvious to be in the game, is in it, she'll probably just play like a busted version of her. And since I like using Jin and Blaze Blue, and he's a busted ice user, I could just imagine that being a match made in heaven of a team. But we still have a little more on this list, so we're gonna have to get into number 3, Adam. Now, I actually don't know if Adam has a last name, but this guy means business. He raw cut off Yang's hand with a katana. This katana is red, so imagine how cool his red sword would be going against Hyde's red sword. Any takers? Now, Ruby is a fairly young franchise, and we haven't really seen too much of Adam yet in terms of story and whatnot, but I could see him being one of the main threats of the series, considering his power scaling compared to the rest is already clearly shown to be way above that of the rest. In play, I think he would play sort of like maybe a Hakuman or a Yuji Hara, considering they're both Katana users, but uh, yeah, he would just be really cool, and if anyone agrees with me, we could break a poll. A poll for DLC in a game that hasn't even come out yet. Now we're getting into number two, and this guy I really, really want. Mercury Black. Now Mercury Black is just known to be the son of an extremely skilled assassin and he uses flashy kicks to keep his opponents at bay. He's able to fight Pyrrha and Nikos in a stalemate in one of the episodes but he just bailed out because he knew he was just badass enough to take her. Now Mercury my guy has metal legs, kinda like Fox in Melee, except this guy is human and not a furry faggot. No hate to the gays out there, I'm not like homophobic or anything, just disregard that, don't leave any mean comments because I use the word faggot. But I actually do hate fox mains, so if you main fox and smash, fuck you. In terms of how Mercury could play, I could imagine him kind of playing like maybe Harong blended in with Chung Lee because of the rapid kicking and the playstyle and the movement, but he could punch on some punches in there and that would be pretty sweet, just your basic martial artist, maybe even kind of like a, like a evil Shoto character, you know what I'm saying? A uh, uh, silver haired Ryu. I would actually kind of like to see a Shoto character that uses kicks purely though. But not as much as I want to see this character at number 1. Roman Torchwick. Now, if you guys haven't watched Ruby, spoiler alert, this fuck dies at the end of volume 3 and I was pissed. We didn't even get to find out this guy's semblance, but guess what, maybe he didn't even need a semblance because he was badass enough to fight everyone without it with just a straight up cane and a hat. This guy's been with us since episode 1 and he's just awesome, I love his design. He's a complete douchebag, and I just need to see him in this game. Please don't have this be tied into canon too deep to the point where he's dead and he can't come back. Because his death was actually just a real cop out. Just watch the series for yourself and you could see what I mean. He was one of the best written characters in Ruby and he just kind of got abruptly eaten by a fucking bird. Not Ruby, not anyone from Team Juniper, a giant bird that was on his fucking team. Friendly Fire killed the most badass thing Ruby had going for him. In terms of villains anyway, I mean Cinder and Emerald are alright, but I just felt like Torchwick really had the staple in terms of spotlight. We just didn't have enough time to get to know this bastard. This skeevy, <laughs> charming bastard. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys with the part 2 to this list very, very soon, and it'll be hosted by... Vocal. This bitch boy that I met online. See you next time. Well, not really, to be honest, because I won't be here next time, except for maybe the intro, but...